An important part of any community conversation plan is thinking about involving people. This involves thinking why it is you want to know particular information, who are the best people to speak to to find that information, and what is the best way to involve them. Who should be involved will depend on what you want to achieve or to find out. This could include members who use a specific part of your group services, like a language group or a lunch club, or who use a local doctor's surgery. Members who share an experience as torture survivors or with characteristics that they share like age or gender. Or you could be targeting all members of your community to involve them in a big decision that affects everyone in your group, like a change to your constitution. You might be trying to recruit potential members to your group. Or you might be trying to talk to the wider public about the broader issues that affect asylum seekers and refugees in Scotland in order to get their support for joint campaigns. It's often the case that you can't invite everyone to your discussions, so it's important to think who you should actively reach out to. So think about who are the most affected people in terms of the decision? Can you make sure that you're not missing anyone out? Especially those who are harder to reach or who might have support needs to attend and may need help with childcare or the cost of travelling. The people who make up our communities may have many similarities, but they are not all the same. Because of this, it's important to consider inviting people who represent your community as a whole in all of its difference and diversity. This might mean inviting people who come from different genders, ages and backgrounds. And what matters is that all participants' views should be listened to equally and valued as part of your discussions.